Hello everyone, in this video we are going to solve this interesting Olympiad problem. We have x squared equal to 2 to the power x. And on the first side this equation is easy one because there is there are obvious roots right here. So take a look. For example, if we plug in 2, we'll have 2 square equal to 2 square, which is really good. But I want to go further and I want to show you that we will have more roots right here, not only 2. So take a look. For example, if we draw a graph right here on the right hand side, a really small graph, we all know that x square, if this is our parabola, so we will have x square and 2 to the power x, this is exponential function, so we can write it, can write this, can write this graph. So we have situation like that. So take a look closely. Right here we have one point of intersection, one obvious point of intersection. And this will be our, our 2 right here. And moreover, maybe we will have right here one more point. And if we think more about it, we will find that our second root will be 4, because 4 square equal to 2 to the fourth power. 2 to the fourth power equal to 16. But what about this point? Because right here we'll have one more obvious point, and this will be our x3. And right now we are going to find this answer. We're going to find our last root. So let's simplify this at first. So let's take in log from both of the sides. For example, let's take natural log. Natural log, natural log of x square equal to natural log 2 to the power x. And we all know natural log rule. If we have power right here, this power goes right here in the beginning. So as a result, we simplify a little bit and we will have 2 goes right here and natural log. Because right here we have square, we need to put absolute value of x. So let's do this. Absolute value of x equal to x natural log, natural log 2. So we just simplify this using natural log from both of the sides. What we're we going to do next? Take a look what we will have. Sometimes x can be negative, but let's simplify this. Let's divide both sides by x. So let's divide both sides by x. If we divide both sides by x, we will have that 2 natural log absolute value of x divided by x over x equal to natural log, natural log 2. And right now let's divide once more by 2 because we don't need this 2 right here, and if we divide from here, it will disappear, and right here we will have the next case, natural log absolute value of x over x equal to natural log 2 divided by, by 2. So this is the next step, we just divide in by 2. What are we going to do next? This is really hard to simplify more, because we right now need about know about Lambert function, Lambert w function, what this function looks like, take a look. F of w equal to w e to the power w. This is a Lambert w function. So Lambert, Lambert, Lambert function. This is Lambert w function. So this is a multivalued function where w is any complex number and e to the power w is the exponential function. So what we're we going to do next? Why this function is really good for us? Because if we take this Lambert w function of this expression x times e to the power x, we will have as a result only x. So that's why this function is really good. And now I show you why this expression is possible in our case. Because what we will have? I bring this x to our nominator. We will have x to the power minus 1. I bring this to our nominator. And of course, natural log absolute value x, I write the same. And equal to 1 half, I write this as 1 half times natural log 2. I just rewrite it in another way. So this is the same as, as right here. I just rewrite it in another way. And as you know, if we have absolute value, we need to solve two cases. So the first one, x is positive, and the second one, x is negative. So let's start with the first one. So x is greater than, x is greater than 0. So I write this case right here. x is greater than 0. Then right here we have only our x. We don't have any absolute value. So x to the power minus 1 times natural log x equal to 1 half natural log natural log 2. What we're we going to do next? I just rewrite this natural log x right here, so natural log x, and this x to the power minus 1, this x to the power minus 1, I just rewrite it in another way. I just write it as e to the power natural log x which is equal to 1 and minus 1 right here. So this is this is equal to x to the power minus 1. x to the power minus 1. But I, I write it in, in this way. And of course equal to 1 half natural log 2. 1 half natural log 2. 
So, what we're going to do next? This minus goes right here in the beginning because this is our lock property, the same as right here in this case. And as a result, we will have the next. We will have that natural log x, natural log x, times e to the power minus natural log x equal to natural log, and I bring this one half from here to these two. So as a result, we will have square root of 2, because this goes as a power, 2 to the power 1 half, and we write it as square root of 2. So I just do the thing. I hope you understand it, the thing. So what are we going to do next? Take a look. If we apply Lambert W function from both of the side, we need to have this the same x and this power of e the same. But right here we have minus nature log x. And right here we have plus nature log x. So if we multiply both sides by minus 1, we will have really interesting moment, because we will have minus nature log x times e to the power minus nature log x equal to minus nature log of square root of 2. And right now, take a look closely. We have this the same, if you're talking about Lambert W function, this is the same x, and the power the same, and e. So if you apply Lambert W function from here, we will have only our power of of e. So let's do this. Let's apply Lambert W function. So Lambert W function we apply from both on both sides of minus natural log x and times e to the power minus natural log x. So this on the left hand side and equal to Lambert W function of minus natural log square root of 2. So, right now we can easily apply this Lambert W function, because this on the left will be equal to only our x, but x equal to power of e. Power of e is minus natural log x. So I hope you understand this step. That's why I use this Lambert W function, so we will have that minus natural log, natural log x equal to minus or not minus Lambert W function of minus natural log square root of 2. What we're going to do next? Let's find only our x multiplying by minus 1 because we don't need this right here minus. If you multiply it, we will have natural log x equal to minus Lambert W function of minus natural log square root of 2. And right now, if we take an e from both of the sides, we will have our answer. From here we will have e, and right here we will take e, and as a result, this e and natural log disappear, and right here on the left we will have only our x. And on the right we will have, of course, e to the power minus Lambert W function of minus natural log square root of 2. And moreover, we can bring this to our denominator, and we will have our final answer x is equal to 1, over e to the power Lambert W function of minus natural log square root of 2. Minus natural log square root of 2. And of course, I find these, these roots because this is multivalided function. So it, this function can get as positive and negative roots. And I find this value in internet and I saw that this will be equal to 2 and this give us two roots, 2 and 4. So if you're interested in this, of course, you can put this function in internet and this function give you two roots because it can be with indexes, so we'll have two roots. Two roots that we find as obvious one, two and four is obvious one. But where hide the third root? The third root hide when x is less than zero. So if x is less than zero, I, I write it right here, so if x is less than zero, what will change? So if x is less than 0, we will have that x to the power minus 1 times natural log, not x, but minus x. So this is the difference. This is right here, minus x. And equal to 1 half, of course, the same, natural log 2. And right now, I don't want to waste your time, because right here we'll change only minus. Only minus will change after after every step. Right here we'll have minus, right here we'll have plus, and this minus goes with us until the end, until the end of this explanation. So you can easily solve it using this case, you can practice Lambert W function. But I want to, to skip this, to skip this and write our final answer. So x equal to 1 over e to the power w, this is our positive case, but if we are talking about the negative one, so this is our x first and x second, but if we are talking about x third, of course you can you can solve this step from here. 
but excerpt I skip this part excerpt is equal to minus e to the power minus w to the power times natural log square root of 2 so as you can see this is the same for this right here but right here we will have this minus so I don't want to waste your time to to solve this once more so I hope you you understand me and of course right here we'll have this minus the same as right here we will have plus as you can see right here we'll have this minus because x is x is negative but what about the root of course this root is not natural number right here we'll have negative root so x first equal to 2 x second equal to 4 and if you're talking about the negative root if we put this in our internet so this x3 give us the third root which is approximately equal to minus 0 0.76 and 6 so this is about this case when x is negative with absolute value so I hope you understand this explanation. This is really good. This is not like an easy equation as you as you can see this obvious roots of course, but what about the third one? We need to know of course about Lambert W function, which is really good to find these roots. And I hope you, you understand this explanation. If you don't understand, write your question in a comment. I try to answer for every to everyone. And of course, I hope you understand this step when x is negative one, because it will be the same explanation as right here. But right here we'll have minus. We'll have minus right here near this e as you can see this is the same the same if we bring this to our denominator we'll have the completely the same but minus because x is negative one so we will have our our roots this is really good question so write your uh, write your this is really good math problem so write your question in the comment and let's let's communicate with this with this question so thank you so much for watching subscribing and of course see you in the next videos i make a lot of mess problems so put your thumbs up if you enjoy it and see you in the next videos